you might have planned to go abroad for the further studies and you have calculated your fees and your own expenses and how you will be surviving over there but are you aware about the tax that which has been implemented by the government of india in the year 2020 in their financial budget in today's video we are going to talk about that and I will be explaining you different scenarios and how much percent of tax that you have to pay to do a foreign transaction. So let's begin today's video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shogat and you're watching Crazy Hospitality. In the year 2020, the financial budget, Ms. Sitaraman has clearly informed that if you're doing any foreign transaction, you have to pay 5% of the uh, tax to the government to develop economy of the Indian government. As per her, it was clearly mentioned that we are doing this foreign transaction and it is going to be benefiting to the country that we are sending. It's uh, not helping our country to develop in their economy. So that's the reason she has implemented this 5% of tax. In the month of February, I was planned to pay my fees, tuition fees to the institute in Canada. So I was a bit worried. So I went up to the bank and I spoke to the bank manager and he has clearly informed me that it was supposed to be implemented from the month of April. But however, uh, once uh, due to COVID, they have not implemented that in the month of April. But recently I have received a, a SMS as well as email from the bank that they have implemented those taxes from the month of October. So today I'm going to give you three scenarios and explaining you how you uh, like how if what transaction if you're doing so you have to pay how much percent of taxes understand the tax scenario better I have distributed it in three halves so I will be telling you about the case one case two case three which will help you to understand the ta tax structure in better. case one customer A goes to the bank and he wants to make the payment of 20 lakhs in installment First, he wants to make only the admission fee to his institute, which is 5 lakhs. So once he makes the payment of 5 lakhs, he don't have to pay any tax to the government because as per the government rule, you have to pay 5% tax above 7 lakhs transaction. So after he completes his, this transaction and he waits, he finish up with his admission process and everything. Now he, it's the time for him to pay his first year tuition fee. So once he goes to the bank and makes the tuition fee payment, which is around 15 lakhs. So in the 15 lakhs, the government, he has to pay around 5% uh, tax on 13 lakhs. Why? If you calculate in a financial year, he has a uh, like 7 lakhs transaction, he can make it. So 5 plus 15 is equal to 20 minus 7 is 13 lakhs. So he has to pay 5% tax on the 13 lakhs. So uh, this is the case number one. Let's move to the case number two. Case two is very simple. Customer B goes to the bank and he wants to make a payment of 20 lakhs to his institute for his tuition fee, admission fee and everything in one shot. So what is the government is doing? They are charging on 13 lakhs. They will be charging him a tax of 5% as 20 minus 7 is 13. So this is very simple to understand. But in the case number three, where customer C goes to the bank, asks for a loan of 20 lakhs, which he gets an approval, and then he makes the payment to his institute. In this scenario, what will happen? How much tax he has to pay? In this case, the customer C don't have to pay 5% tax as he's already paying a government uh, to the bank a interest on the loan. So he has to pay only 0.5% on the above like 13 lakhs he has to pay 0.5 percent as a uh, tax to the government not 5 percent on the 13 lakhs so these are the three scenarios where you will be facing uh, while making the foreign transaction this foreign transaction is not only for the institute uh, like you're making a payment for their uh, colleges this can be for your own trip like a uh, tourist visa or you plan to buy it uh, something from abroad you, or you have a business and you want to do a foreign transaction or you want to buy some items from the foreign everywhere this tax is implemented any foreign transaction that you are making from India above 7 lakhs in a financial year you have to pay a 5% of 
uh, tax to the government now i will be sharing you a small tip which has been given to me by one of my friends the tip is that if you're doing if you're in a case uh, case number one you are splitting the amount that you want to make the payment so what for you can do if you're doing it in that case if you want to make the payment of 14 lakhs to someone so you can make the payment in month of March 7 lakhs and the rest of the 7 lakhs you can do it in the month of April because in the first of April the financial year changes so you save some amount uh, instead of paying the tax to the government you are saving that amount so this is a small tip from my side if you guys have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button if you have any uh, comments regarding this video or you have any questions regarding this video please uh, share it in the comment box and if you are new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe my channel because you will be getting a latest update about the Canadian study permit as well as the hospitality info till then stay safe and namaste